This is what it looks like at seven mile point. I mean, it's, it's kind of stunning. It sells itself. If you ever go there, you love it. This is the 1.1 uh, billion year old exposed bedrock. Um, this is the Cobble Beach side. Uh, this kind of shows everything. This is uh, the original Grass River Park that we got to the county for no charge. This is the addition to the park that the Conservancy got for the county at no charge, but ended up with about mm, three, four hundred thousand dollars in debt on. This little L-shaped backward L is that backward? I can't tell upside down. Um, <laughs> thanks. Um, is the Conservancy still owns that? Uh, the very first thing the Conservancy ever got is this. 80 acre parcel called the Door Woods, D O R E. Jane and I donated that the day we founded the Conservancy in honor of a mentor of ours. Um, this is something I haven't talked about yet. One of the great places to fish for steelhead and uh, other great fishing on the Grass River is called the Conglomerate Hole, right downstream of what they call the Upper Falls. It's more like a mill race. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a really neat place because it goes through the conglomerate layer which is interesting geologically and, and mining history historically. And you can see the whole, it cuts through it, so you can see all the layers, you can see the conglomerate layer, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, we now have um, 120 acres there, and anybody can go there anytime to fish. There's also, we have three quarters of a mile of the river. There's a little cabin there, and most of the mortgage on this property is paid by renting the cabin. It's $40 a night, so that's a cabin rental. Um, this is what the conglomerate falls looks like, and that's the original 40 with the cabin, and this is the road in. If you go on Five Mile Point Road from Amik, turn left on South Farmers Block Road, and where South Farmers Block Road ends, just keep going straight on the two track, and you'll end up at this turnaround by the falls, so you can go there. Um, this is the beach, the sand beach at Seven Mile Point, breathtaking, beautiful. This is the Seven Mile Point property. That's the last house. That's lot 23. Without us buying this, there would have been four more houses here and zero public access. And unless we can make our nut, we, there will be no public access and four houses there because we're going to have to sell. Um, what happens every month on the 15th when the $5,000 payment is due? We co sign the loan. So we make the payment. And then we hope during the next month. <laughs> uh, it's, and we're borrowing money to do it. Because we're, we're hanging on by our fingertips here. It's not, it's, and we're trying to do the best that we can do. You know, um, There's incredible wildlife there. There's a bald eagle nest not far from here. There's otters, there's mink, there's weasel, there's fisher, there's pine martin, there's bear, porcupine. Every animal we call our Christmas card woods. Well, you guys know what it's like up here. It's incredible. This is uh, taken on one of the preserves. This is a, a garter snake in oak leaves in the fall. Um, this is in the spring, very near that, when they come out and there's, uh, it's like, this is my little trick question, how many snakes are in that pile? There's seven snakes in that pile, but you can only really see two. Um, obviously, uh, we have three or four different kinds of turtles. This is that Door Woods thing, the very first 80. This is the 400 acres of Merganser Pond bisected by Five Mile Point Road about a half mile before you hit the lake. We have the most incredible wetland. We've seen um, trumpeter swans. We've seen tundra swans. We call it Merganser Pond because there's hooded Mergansers and red-breasted Mergansers that nest there. There's otters in Merganser. I mean, it's just, it's spectacular. And then you see this kind of thing. I mean, this is iconic Michigan. 